what's up guys divine echo here and i'm here to read a story for the star sign of libra libra this is for you sun moon rising and venus and this is also available for the cross watcher you're welcome here as well keep in mind if you are a cross watcher the roles may be reversed when I'm saying Libra, I may be referring to you and vice versa. Um, so just keep that in mind. Also, I want you guys to know that this is just a story. It may be your story. It may be someone else's story around you. It may not be anybody's story at all. Either way, it's just a story that I'm here to echo to you from the divine. And you can feel free to listen to it in its entirety. Also, I want you guys to know that I don't read the tarot in the traditional manner. I read as I see, I read as I hear, and I read as I feel. So, with that being said, what the normal meaning of a card may have for another reader, I may not see that. So, you know, this kind of how I work out here, okay? Alright, with that being said, Libra, this is your story. And again, that's Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start out with this Psychic um, Tarot Oracle Deck. Oracle. <laughs> Maybe somebody's name is Oracle. <laughs> Maybe there's some sort of warning going on. I haven't heard a, a siren in a, quite a while, so... I don't know, maybe you guys got some sort of law issue or fire issue. I can't ever tell the difference between a fire truck and a police car and an ambulance. They all sound different to me. I think one is a little bit slower than the other, so either way. Maybe something in, in the, is in the state of an emergency for you, Libra. Oh, and I would say so. First card out, deception and envy. So Libra, I feel like you are, you've got a headache, you've got a headache for somebody who is not being honest with you. And you may have some haters around you. So, and that's kind of hard to, you know, deal with sometimes because Libra, you are so free-spirited, so funny and so down to earth, you know, have um, this wittiness about you, you know. People tend to love you guys, you know. You're balanced and open and down to earth and honest. Analytical. You think. You're, you're thinkers. You're problem solvers. But when there are things that you don't want to deal with, you do tend to run away from those or hide in the shadows. So, nose is itching there. So, Libra, let's get on into your story. So, apparently, either it's you that has some deception and envy going on, or someone around you is being deceptive and envious of you. I don't know if we're going to get any more of these cards. If not, I'm giving one more go. Yeah. I was just going to say, I'm going to give it one more go and we're going to skip to the next decks. deck. Deck, deck, deck. So we have sacrifice and truth. So, with deception and envy, sacrifice and truth. We're going to look at these two first. And you see this person is kind of holding their head. I feel like this person has sacrificed themselves to be in a certain situation. And in order for them to sacrifice, they have had to have some sort of a light-hearted deception going on. But as far as the envy goes, I'm feeling like that is someone around you. So maybe this is a split energy. Where there's deception and envy, and then there's sacrifice and truth. So let's look at this again. Let me let me not overspeak this. So sacrifice and truth. 
I feel like somebody's having to sit still and walk through some murky waters in order to get to the truth. So maybe with this deception and envy, you have someone around you that you know for certain that they're being deceptive and they're envious, but you don't have any full proof at this time. So you are having to stand back and you you know how like in stealth mode where people are kind of in those movies where somebody is kind of in the murky waters and they're slowly going towards somebody or going towards something or getting away from something but they can't make a sound they can't be seen i feel like this is what this situation is for you you're slowly easing into what is the truth without blowing your cover maybe it's not for you to discover or maybe it's not for you to initiate what is true in this situation but you've got to be strategic about it. And so that's what I'm, I'm seeing here. There's a strategy towards coming towards this truth. So let's get some more cards out. We'll pull from the Gilded Tarot. Just split these a little bit. All right. <laughs> all I said was all right. And here is the Hermit. Yep, you guys are having to tiptoe upon the truth. Maybe you can't be implicated in as as far as being the one who comes across this truth. Maybe you know something about someone around you. Maybe you know something that can cause a bit of a problem in someone's relationship or household or whatever. But we're going to keep going. But I'm, I'm feeling like you're having to go within to and sacrifice that going within to come up with the truth of whatever this is. You know, maybe somebody has been trying to outsmart you. And in order for you to outsmart them, you've got to be quiet because sometimes silence is golden. You know, too many. Sometimes silence is golden. Sometimes what you don't say can give you more power than what you do say. So that may be your sacrifice in this case. Let's see what we have here. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, you're going on about your day as if nothing has changed. All the while, whoever this person who's causing this deception and envy is slowly implicating themselves into whatever this situation is. Maybe this is a job. Maybe this is a relationship. Maybe you're sitting back collecting evidence so you can file for a divorce. Maybe you're sitting back collecting evidence as far as someone and how they're taking care. I, I hear child support. So maybe you're, you're um, having to initiate balance in that restraint of not being able to just pop off at a moment right now, at a moment's notice. So let's keep going. Yeah, we've got four, four, four of cups that just came out. And what else that just come out? Four of cups and the fool. So whatever this is, the situation that you are in right now, you are bored with it. You have had enough and you can't take it and you don't want any more of it. You are just dreaming about the moment where you can just take a new leap of faith and move out and do what's best for you. So I'm looking at this now as you're gathering evidence towards a case, whether it's a legal case, divorce, um, catching a spouse or a girlfriend or boyfriend cheating. Um, someone doing something shady at work and you don't want to get your hands dirty by being the one as they call snitch <laughs> but at the same time you got to tell the truth you got to blow this out of the water so I think you're taking a strate strategic approach towards 
outing whatever this is whether it's a cheating person a, a someone who's stifling money from the job or stealing from the job you gotta I don't know it's just like you know in the military when they're kind of belly crawling trying to get to the other side and not let the enemy know you know that they're coming or that they're on to them and that's what I feel right here you know, so in order for you to keep this going and not blow your cover, you still got to be this energy here. You still got to be happy, go lucky, fulfilled in what's going on around you, even though the stuff that is going on around you has you miserable AS, you know, F, you know. So we're going to keep going. Give me some more energy about this deception and envy. Who is this about? What is this deception and envy about, please? Kipper deck here. More information about deception and envy and who is this about, please? More information about this deception and envy. Okay, we got message of concern. We've got sudden wealth. We've got courtship. One more. Oh, two more. Okay. So, we've got message of concern, sudden wealth, courtship, adjudication, and poverty. I almost called you Leo. Maybe you guys are dealing with the Leo. Libra. This is your reading. Libra, you are possibly dealing with a thief in your home. You have possibly got somebody. I just I just heard somebody is claiming somebody on their taxes that shouldn't be. Um this courtship is sticking out to me. So this means, to, to, to me, this feels like either you, well, either your significant other or you, you know, you can flip the roles if you need to. You know your story. Only, only you know what your story really consists of. But this courtship feels like somebody is plotting with another individual to take one other person's money message of concern i feel like you got wind of this information maybe this like i said this is an inheritance maybe someone passed away and left you money or an estate or a vehicle or anything to that matter and it, this is sudden wealth because you had no idea this person had a will with your name in it or this this um money or property or whatever was coming to you in the first place this person knew this person knew and they may be someone who is either in relationship with you married to you or whatever but they're also seeing a second person and these two people are the ones that are plotting against you to get whatever property or assets or whatever and they're planning on trying to take you to court. But, like I said, you are intuitive. You see this coming. You are slowly easing through the waters, the murky waters, just so you can balance the truth of this all. Like I said, your offers that you've been given right here are boring to you. You no longer feel them. But you've got to keep up this persona of being happy and fulfilled all the while shining the light on this truth without implicating yourself so you can have your own new beginning so fret not my friend mr or mrs leo you're one step ahead of the game here 
So we're going to get some more cards out. I'm going to use Miss Cleo Power Deck. And right now we're just going to just kind of clarify randomly. Give me some more information on the story. Tell me what is what and what needs to go where. So we have the Hierophant. And we have the Two of Cups. So with the adjudication and this courtship, I feel like, and this is Hierophant and Two of Cups. I'm sorry, I know this is like all wonky. But um, I feel like these cards are kind of going together. Like these two are going to try to get together and marry each other. Or marry, or somebody's going to try to get with you, marry you, or have already married you. and But they have an outside person. And once they try to come up on whatever wealth, this sudden wealth, once you come up on this sudden wealth, this person is going to try to divorce you and take what you have and leave you in poverty. But, like I said in the beginning, you are aware of this deception and envy. You see it. You feel it. This is damn near giving you a headache. But, you're willing to sacrifice Keep keeping this this facade or keeping this this appearance up. Although you're keeping that up, you are willing to sacrifice and do your own investigating to pull out the truth in this situation. Even though this hierophant is here, I also feel like this hierophant is here to kind of help you determine who these two people are. You know, they're they're outing this one person versus the other. You know, letting you know that these people don't mean you any good. So, let's keep going. Yeah, some, this, even just listening at the background of what's going on, I very rarely have my window open. And that sounds like some sort of emergency vehicle. Maybe a fire truck, fire... Yeah, all I'm hearing is warning, 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 warning. You're going to be able to defend yourself and you're not going to even have to pay attention to what you're doing as far as defending yourself. I feel like with this two of coins, these people are juggling, but they're going to get caught up. They're going to get caught up in this web of lies and you're going to be able to keep sailing on by not even getting caught up in this situation that's the bottom of the deck energy by the way i feel like in this one this two of swords this animal you may have an animal totem or you may have someone who is a pisces with air in their chart that's in 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 um on your side but I feel like someone in this situation will be the one that's going to defend you and keep your hands clean so you won't have to be the one that, that has to say a thing I believe everything is going to be seen in due time everything is going to stack up and add up and it's going to be in your favor you're going to be one left holding what it is that balances you out and nobody will be able to take that from you. Bottom of the deck. We have the queen, king of swords. So yeah, truth is going to come out of here. And this is going to be passionate truth. I see him holding a wand or a staff. This will be passionate truth. This will be someone who is on your side. Someone who has under, understood you throughout the years. That um, Someone that has integrity. Someone that is proud to be in your life. This person is going to come in and, and offer the truth for you. 
And next under the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Staff. So, yeah, things are going to be wavered in your favor. So, I wouldn't even worry about this. Okay, so let, what do we need to be aware of? Who do we need to be aware of in this situation? Who is this person that Lib Libra needs to be aware of? What, what are some characteristics or something that they need to know besides them being maybe an ex or a wife or a husband or a girlfriend or a colleague? Give me some characteristics of this person. Who do they need to be aware of? Okay. Hmm. So what we had just popped out. Although this is a sun card, it's supposed to be a positive card in the deck. I feel like somebody's cocky. This person is cocky and think that they're not gonna get caught. This may be a Taurus. I'm hearing Aries as well. This may be a Leo. I'm hearing somebody named Daisy. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm also seeing someone who is on the threshold of not really knowing what side they want to be on. So this is maybe a friend, a family member, someone who has mutual interest in both you and that other party. Um, maybe have a mutual interest in you and the third person because there is a third person in here but i'm feeling like you you all of you guys are tied together in some form of fashion whether you've all worked together went to school together or um, lived in the same community there is some sort of tie between all of you reason why it's kind of hard to out somebody without um getting your hands dirty it's, it's like you you want to be able to get the truth out but you don't want to be the one who is ridiculed for coming out with the truth not that that's something you should really worry about because if you, the truth is the truth and you can only say the truth one way or the other you know it's just the truth it's only one way rather bottom of the deck we have the ace of cups I feel like whoever comes in to rescue you in this situation this is a loved one could be a sister brother a cousin um passed on loved one i'm hearing the name erica i don't know where that comes from so somebody met maybe their name is erica i'm hearing angela as well <sighs> Someone wears a Fitbit. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this has been your life up until now. You've got the baby. You've got the, the puppy, the dog, you and your spouse. You guys are surrounded by financial wealth, income, abundance. But you've got somebody who don't want you to have it. You've got somebody who is trying to figure out a way to snatch that from you. And they think that they have the strength to do so. but And if they're working with someone shady, this person here will turn on this person. And this person will turn on this person and, and, and throw them under the bus, claw them out. There will be a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. This is how you're going to know that this that this is starting to play come into play. And this is when you'll know, you'll see you'll start to see all the deception and envy. Like I said, you have deception and envy in early, early. These two are going to betray themselves. These people who are working together to get to you, to take from you, they're going to betray themselves. And what you're going to be left with is watching them from afar because you're going to be able to see this coming far in advance and you'll be able to ride off into the sunset unscathed because like I said you see you already know the truth you already have the truth in hand 
you sacrificed for it. You watched this deception and envy unfold. And it is what it is. You know, and like I said, someone will come in and defend you. And with them defending you in this situation, you will prosper. You will get your just due. Yep, next under that, the fool. So you will have a new beginning. But I'm feeling like you better, you're going to have to not necessarily watch your back, but watch your front. You're going to have to walk away back and out of this situation slowly. Watching your step as you, you know, go into the unknown. Because these people are trying their best to trap you. So you need to be able to see what you have in front of you. Make sure that you can defend yourself by building this, this barrier, this healthy boundary around you so these people can't get to you. And that way you can, in the end, sit pretty on your throne and allow what's for you to come to you. So with that being said, we'll get one more oracle and we'll let you guys go. Libra, I've enjoyed you guys. I love your energy. I see you doing it and doing it and doing it well. <laughs> Libra, yeah, you, you got this. Just watch these people around you. So it's been so many shady folks around everybody here lately. That has just been the running energy. Shadow just came out. And I just heard sometimes we can betray ourselves. There's too many that fell out. Sometimes we can betray ourselves. You know, we think too hard, think too long. Give, give people the benefit of the doubt when we shouldn't. And sometimes it's because this passion that we have for somebody. You know, we want want our friends to be true friends you want our friends to not deceive us but or our family or you know spouses or whatever but sometimes that happens and when it does you gotta be strategic on how you move out of this situation and, and, and remedy the situation so So what came out was, you have shadow. So since you are a scale sign, Libra, you can balance this light and dark within you. And I think this is how you're going to be able to strategically remove yourself from this situation, going within and seeing what it is that you need to do and who it is that is um, being deceptive and envious towards you. That's going to ignite that passion within you. That's going to allow you to move along into a, into a better space. You'll be able to get through or get past this. And once you do, you'll have a spiritual union with the right person, your soul tribe, which is probably this person here, is going to come in and help you with this situation. So, with that being said, I wish you all the best of luck. I hope you find out who the mole is in this situation. Um, watch your friends. Watch your family. Be observant. You don't always have to say stuff. You know, you don't always have to pop off and call people out on things. Be observant. Let some people hang themselves. When those ones are that are ready to come in and help you, they will come in and help you. And they won't have to even call any names. They'll keep everything confidential. That's that spiritual union that you have with the universe, okay? And like I said, once all of that is done, this will help you with your passion. 
in life. This will reestablish, rekindle your passion in life. You may even meet someone new that comes in. Could be this person, which could be, you know, an air sign. So double air <laughs> that comes in and helps you out. You may form some sort of bond with this person as well. Well, anyway, Libra, I have enjoyed you guys. And I wish you all love, peace, and happiness, and abundance. And with that being said, remember, this is just a story. It could be your story. could be someone's story around you. could be nobody's story at all. Either way, it was just a story, and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and watching it unfold. And after this, I wish you the best, okay? Love and light. Echo out.